and a special forces agent of the Honduran military that are under the orders of the U.S. Army, has assured that indigenous leader Berta Cáceres was on a hit list with other indigenous and social leaders of the Honduran resistance. The agent that now has the pseudonym of Rodrigo Cruz gave declarations to the newspaper The Guardian, in which he assured that months before the assassination of Cáceres on March of this year, he had received orders to assassinate her from the Interinstitutional Security Office of the Honduran State, Fusina, and had pressure from the military operation in the Awan Valley, Satrush. He assured that he didn't comply because he didn't feel that Berta was a threat for the Honduran state, and that himself, other 10 agents, also received the orders and didn't comply, and now are missing. According to Cruz, in Honduras, there is the existence of death squads and of torture centers in which members of the Honduran resistance have been tortured and murdered. Since the 2009 coup d'etat, more than 200 activists in Honduras have been murdered. And Berta Cáceres one of the main, was one of the main voices to denounce this, to denounce the existence of death squads made up the Honduran military forces with the orders of the United States Army. Gerardo Torres, Telesur, Honduras.